Hi, I'm Tonya Caruso. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. If you've never seen them perform, now is a great time to check them out. We're talking about the Pittsburgh Concert Chorale, and joining us in our studios this half hour is its brand new music director, Susan Medley. Thank you so much for coming in and talking with us today. Well, thank you for having me. So congratulations on becoming music director, and, and how excited are you about this? Oh, I'm really excited to work with the Pittsburgh Concert Chorale. They're a wonderful group, about 90 volunteer singers, uh, from all different backgrounds and I, I, it's just a, a dream come true to have a group like this to work with. Yeah and when you talk about 90 volunteer singers but they don't just show up I mean they go through a very string, stringent audition process etc. Yes yes all of the singers are auditioned so we know what all their voices sound like um, they read music they love to sing and they work on their music at home outside of rehearsals as well. Yeah and, and the fact that they are volunteer just I, I guess shows that they bring so much passion to one to do this on their own. Absolutely. I mean, this is not a case where they have to be involved in this. They're, they're there because they want to. They love to sing, and that passion really comes through in our rehearsals. They want to be as good as they can be. Yeah, and the organization's actually been around for how long now? Uh, it was founded in 1985 by Clark Bedford, and he was with them until about 2005, and then Catherine Mueller took over, and she had them actually right up until December, but she has relocated to Virginia, so it just became unwieldy for her to go back and forth. Right, and as we continue to talk, we're putting on the screen uh, website, phone number, Facebook, all these places where folks can go for more information mm -hmm. um, because you've just begun rehearsals for um, a big concert. Very big concert, yes. It's our classical concert. Um, we're doing Haydn's Creation, which is a wonderful piece of music. Um, it's, you know, what, what more grand subject can you have than the creation of the world? And it's in three big sections. The first section deals with uh, creation days one through four, and then the second section is day five and six, including the creation of Adam and Eve, and then part three is Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden before any of the icky stuff happened. <laughs> well, there you go. And uh, let's tell folks, um, when and where the performances will be? Um, Saturday, March 5th at 8 p.m. at Ingemar United Methodist Church in Franklin Park, and Sunday afternoon at 4 o'clock on March 6th, that will be at Fox Chapel Presbyterian Church. Okay, so the first weekend in March is the one that folks want to circle on their calendar. Absolutely, yes. And so for people who might just be a little, a little bit intimidated, uh, maybe kind of think it's, it's a classical work, I might not understand it, what do you want to say to them about this being a great great venue and great performers to kind of check things out. Oh, these are wonderful performers. Uh, in addition to the 90 Voice Pittsburgh Concert Chorale, we also have the Academy Chamber Orchestra led by Dr. Warren Davidson and uh, a wonderful group of, of soloists. The soloists in the creation, in the first two sections, uh, there's a soprano, tenor, and bass, and they are angels. And then in the, the last section, there's soprano and baritone, and they play the roles of Adam and Eve. This is actually a wonderful, um, for people who are a little intimidated by classical music, it's a wonderful piece to kind of get into it, because for one thing, it's in English, so they'll be able to understand what's going on. And um, the, the chorus kind of comments on the creation. The text is taken from the book of Genesis, uh, the Psalms, and Milton's Paradise Lost. Mm -hmm. And Haydn kind of weaves the three together to describe the creation. So it's really, it's a wonderful way to kind of get into classical music in a subject that they'll be able to understand when they when right. they see the concert. And so then how much fun are you having in the process of these rehearsals and oh. just getting to know everybody? Oh, it's wonderful. Uh, the Pittsburgh Concert Chorale is a group of really wonderful, dedicated, welcoming people. I've just had a number of rehearsals with them thus far, and it's just been terrific. They, I feel right at home. I feel like I've been with them for quite a while because they're just, they're so receptive to me, and we've just had a, a really wonderful time. And it has to be that uh, unique that by day they all do something else or have done something else in their careers, and then by night and weekends they're these amazing singers. It's wonderful, yes, because they really can bring their bring their love of it to the rehearsal, and, and that'll come through in the performance. Oh, that's fantastic. We thank you so much for coming in and talking with us today. We certainly do appreciate it. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm Tonya Caruso. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. We'll send you back now to HLN.